Hey Wes, um, so I'm going to show you how to rotate those points. First thing I had to do is I had to export your points and import them into a new drawing as Kogo points because what you sent me appears to be survey points and since I don't have access to your survey database I could not unlock those. So I just exported, imported into a different drawing but you'll still get the idea of what you need to do. So here are your points, here's your line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a new line at the new bearing. So I'll go here on my home tab in the draw panel. I'll pop down the line pull down and find create line by bearing. My first point is going to be this node of point 120. Okay, it wants a quadrant. That's going to be southeast, so I can say 2. It wants a bearing that was 18 degrees 10 minutes, so I can just say 18.1, all right? And then a distance and, you know, whatever. So I'll just pick a distance. The distance doesn't matter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the AutoCAD Rotate command and pick all of these objects, and then I will deselect the two lines. Okay. Okay, so now... Um, specify my rotation base point and that's going to be the node of this point again up oh, sorry I screwed up start over rotate deselect these okay base point node here all right now rather than just picking a rotation what I do is I tell it R for reference pick that. Okay, the, the reference angle is the angle that exists now. So that's from this node to this node. And the new angle that needs to become is anywhere on this line. So I could say nearest or I could say end point and snap to that line. And then those points get rotated uh, that much. And that's how you do it.